Hello. I'm doing some like deep cleaning because Schooly Blues is coming up. And I am so excited because I have seen and followed Schooly Palooza for years. And this is the first time that I actually have a rig and I can go. So I want to make sure that my bus is prepared. I want to make sure it looks nice. And right now it does not. Um, my wallpaper is falling down. That's literally taped up with scotch tape right now. I want to get some trim because look how awful that looks. Like I'm actually going to get some trim. Also some wall covers like on the edge. So it's not just, you know, like wrinkled wallpaper on the corner. It looks so awful, guys. I, I'm sorry. Just listen, I have never built anything in my life before before I built this bus. This is like my first big project ever. It is definitely time to fix some things. I'll show you what needs to get done. So as I mentioned before, um, I need to actually have a corner trim to cover up where the wallpaper meets the ceiling. I need to get something to cover up the edges of these walls here. I need to put wallpaper over these walls. The, <laughs> the vinyl covering actually completely fell down during the trip. I have a cushion that's gonna go underneath Maui's terrarium when his terrarium gets moved back in here. So I need to see if that fits. Um, I also wanted to paint these bars, probably the same orange that's in the back, just to match the oranges on here and everything. Another thing that I'm really, really excited about is right now, this is the shelf up here, but these towels, these rolls of toilet paper, like little self-care stuff, cleaning stuff, this all is going to end up in the bathroom. And I never actually finished the bathroom before we left. It's just in here. It's literally just a bucket right now. I'll get a toilet later. But I've been wanting to put a shelf up in here too so that I can use it for storage. And so I want to have two layers. On the top layer, I'm going to squish the towels in so they don't fall while driving. And on the bottom layer, I'm going to have the toilet paper and cleaning supplies. And then it's going to free up so much more room on this shelf space. I think I showed this in the original tour, but isn't that fun? Do a little fit check. This is the robe that my grandma gave me. It has sea turtles on it and I love it. Oh, and I forgot about this. The cover that's supposed to be over the battery is... <laughs> it was left in the rain by mistake. So I'm going to get a new one. Another thing that I would absolutely love to do is get a welcome mat to cut in half and stick to here so you can actually wipe your feet when you come in. Okay, it is currently the 9th and Schooly Palooza is on the 19th. I'll probably be spending like a week up there. Um, I'm very, very excited. I'm really looking forward to meeting people. I'm looking forward to seeing other buses. I'm looking forward to like music and yoga. It's just, it's going to be great. I'm going to do a whole bunch of videos on it because I feel like there's not enough videos about what goes on in Schooly Palooza. I just see little clips. There's so much to do. And I'm realizing that when you live in a van or a bus, there is literally never a break. You are constantly either fixing something, upgrading something, replacing something. Like that's just a part of it. But wish me luck. We're going to Home Depot today. Vanessa just got here and we were already procrastinating. I made us ramen and she is getting me addicted to Pretty Little Liars. <laughs> okay. So very clearly my bathroom is a disaster. I'm starting to regret having a full bathroom. I did it for if I'm traveling with friends having privacy, but it takes up so much space. I definitely need to put a shelf in here to make storage for cleaning, shower stuff, my vitamins, toilet paper, towels, that kind of thing. This completely fell down during the trip. So I'm gonna try using Gorilla Glue, ultimate Gorilla Glue because I could not find the same adhesive I used and I probably shouldn't try using that again anyway if it failed. If this holds, I can do it for the rest of the wallpaper too, because like, look at this. It's literally, it's literally falling down. And I honestly might try to install the shelf today, or at least the shelf holders today, which look like this. Right about this height, I think. Ooh, okay. Let's see if I can get this up here. And unfortunately, I am not a builder. And that doesn't look like it's gonna come down soon, hopefully. Well, I lost that. Okay. It is so fun building a bus and not knowing anything. I highly recommend it. I feel like this is going to work. Well, I don't understand why you can't just use flatheads for Phillips. That looks like it's going to turn. Some high techie person is probably watching this thinking like, oh my god, no, don't do that. Okay, picture this num like this amount of struggling for this entire bus. Who hot. That's been my life. I didn't know the door closed. 
that screw is totally in there crooked, but you know what? As long as it holds up a shelf right now, I'm cool with that. Hang on, let me sit on the toilet. Here, I'm 5'7", five, 5'6", seven, five, five, seven. So I feel like that gives enough headroom. Not bad, like for a bus toilet. <laughs> it's really, really windy and it's raining and I forgot that I put my wood outside. So I'm gonna try to cover it up. Oh my God. Oh, look at the tree. Okay, here's the fit because we're in that brief period in Tucson where it's actually freezing all the time. So this is what I'm wearing to build this shelf. I am not a winter girly. This is not who I am. I'm suffering. This way, if I lose a finger, it's on camera. Gotta get that content. Also, never do this without closed tight shoes like I am. This is a very bad idea. Okay, I'm a professional. Oh, I can't feel my fingers, which is great because if I lose one, no harm done. I'm just a little girl. I don't know what I'm doing. Not bad. I have a bathroom shelf. This is a moment of truth. Ooh. Oh my god. Shelf. It's beautiful. So I think I decided that this toilet, specifically in the middle, if it goes on the side, I can put like a little cart on the side and like bolt it into the floor. And then I can put stuff in there too. Shower bag, oh, adorable, okay. Now that I think about it, I could fit a beach towel under my vitamins bag and then I won't have to give one up. Okay, I think I'm gonna tackle this absolute disaster next. My bed's there, my terrarium, my heater is below. We took him on our trip to the Pacific Northwest and his terrarium lived here. He did amazing, he was such a good snake, I love him. I put towels underneath his terrarium, but still on some of the bumpy roads, it rattled more than I'm comfortable with. Uh, I want him to be as stationary as possible. I was going to do like um, a memory foam pad and order one. But luckily my friends, family friends have old RV mattresses that they said they don't need anymore. But they're too tall for the little brackets that I made so that his tram doesn't slide. Later when I bring Maui's tram in, I will use these brackets but I'll probably put them on the wall to keep his tram from sliding forward instead of on the bottom. The whole goal is something to absorb shock while driving. It's not wide enough. I have like, like a foot or so right here. Oh my God, is this gonna work? Oh my God, maybe? Oh, Cause then all I have to do <laughs> is cut here. This is actually pretty comfortable. <laughs> This is the end result. Also, this stuff smells awful. Oh God, it's going everywhere. Open up the skylight. If you asked me if I would ever build another vehicle out as a camper, the answer is no. It's no. I had a fun time doing this, but also it was like the most stressful experience of my life. Oh, I can like smell the old adhesive I used that didn't work and mixed with the new adhesive. It's like the Gorilla Spray and it's just really awful. In case it's not obvious by now, this is not a tutorial. This is not a how-to. Don't copy anything I'm doing because I guarantee you I'm doing it wrong. Okay, I just covered it up with the vinyl. I'm letting the vent dry, it's now in place, and then I'll go ahead and put that up front so that the wall, when you walk in, is gonna be done again. I'm not speaking to you. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm a professional. I 
feel like we're not doing something right. Go on, Dave. I can do the second one. Enjoy your break. <laughs> this is sounding so awful. I'm just gonna bend it. I love you, you did it. And they're even. <laughs> Moment of truth. This is the third laundry basket I've tried, and if it doesn't fit, I'll cry. Are you kidding? No. Why? Hang on, let me take a hammer and try to beat Because <laughs> I'm sure this is fine. Nice hammer. Thanks. <laughs> Spot. It's okay. Just gotta squish the laundry. Oh my god, look. It works. <laughs> Just gotta squish the laundry basket in. <laughs> oh my god. Beautiful. <laughs> it works. Not changing it. Good. <laughs> I can cut it on these squares. Ouch. Just let you see the nice part. And then you don't track in a bunch of sand anymore. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Okay, I have to do it. I'm just gonna go for it. Send it. Oh, send it. That's how the professionals do it. <laughs> I don't believe you. Ah! Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We are now doing this in the dark by the light of bus headlights because I am a procrastinator. In part, it's gonna get twisted weird. Actually works. Nice. <gasps> <Ooh. laughs> you look so sad. <laughs> when you're a bus builder, you make do with what you have, like turning baseboards into walls. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still upset because nothing is going right. But you know what? It's a new day. So I'm gonna tackle today's projects with positivity, love, light, and patience. <laughs> Sure. <laughs> One, two, two, three. So I'll just wait. Having these be orange is gonna add like a little more touch of brightness to the space. She's all done. If you don't live in here, there's probably not a huge difference. Um, it's just the little things, but like I have trim on my walls now, which I've been wanting to get forever. Uh, I have wall trim along the bottom of my sink board. Oh, I have new curtains for my closet so that you can't just like see in and see my clothes all the time. It makes the whole space look so much neater and Oh, I stabilized my table, so that's not gonna rock anymore. Uh, I just did like a little general cleaning up, and I am very happy with the result. It doesn't feel messy to me anymore. Oh, I also put a trim against the back wall. I can't get over how much I love my bus. I'm so excited because I'm going to Scoolypalooza tomorrow, so definitely stay tuned. I'm gonna be posting so many videos from that because I am so excited. I have been wanting to go for so long. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time on my way to Ehrenberg. Bye. No. What am I doing? <laughs> Don't film this part. It's getting all messed up. I'm yeah. using a pen. Okay. <laughs> I am. <laughs> I don't know why you're doing that. What else was I supposed to use? No. 
Oh, that doesn't. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's that's that not. Was great. I think it's time for bed. <laughs> <laughs>